So hello, everyone. This is Otessa, and you are listening to Conversations with Hysterical Women. That's Women with an X, the Hysterical Women podcast, where you are all welcome here, friends, allies, everywhere across the rainbow, across the binary. I'm just really glad to have you be here. And this is meant to be a safe space to explore all of the weird things that life throws at us and all of the different ways in which we can be twisted and torn asunder, but also all the different ways that we can come back together. So thank you for listening, and I'm glad that you're here and it's going to be cheesy, but comment, like, subscribe. There were parts in the beginning of this, as I, even as I was writing the, the, like, our business contract, I'm like, is anyone else even, like, doing this? Is anyone else even, like, starting a business in the middle of a pandemic? They are, like, which is so cool. Which is really no, I love cool. It. I love it. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, what's going to get us through? It is not going to be, uh, what, what will keep our economy afloat is people like you. I hope so. I really hope so. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely hard work, but like who's nobody today is afraid of hard work. So I feel like, you know, it's worth it. It's worth putting in for, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm truly inspired by all the small businesses that I've, I've come in contact with and, you know, it's, it's inspiring because I came from corporate. Mm-hmm. I came from corporate legal and oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I came from intellectual property law. Okay, and... the most important kind of law. <laughs> <laughs> it's also like super duper dry. So it's, you know, yeah. like I came from that. And then to go from that to independent small business was so and is so eye opening. And um, I won't even say fulfilling. It's just, I feel like it's the natural course of things. Like, it's the natural course of economic growth, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. so A&T Photography, did I get that right? Yes. Is that where we can find you on, say, Instagram, et cetera? Um, you can actually reach out to my personal okay. Instagram because we are a small business supporting other small yeah, businesses. Yeah. Um, but you can find me at uh, T. Lee is me, and it's T. Lee, L-E-E, is me m e e awesome and yeah my uh, my partner i wouldn't be able to do this without him he he and i are both true dmvers and yeah. he is um he's a skateboard filmer here in dmv and so he i wouldn't be able to do any of this like any of the photography without him yeah. he, he's he's and he's such a great he's a great inspiration yeah <laughs> for me yeah that's amazing to have that kind of just like symbiosis in Mm -hmm. work and in life when Mm -hmm. you have like your person that just gets you in every way Mm -hmm. that's awesome I know I know it's it's pretty amazing and I um I it it eases me yeah like knowing that I can work with him and I you know he he gets it he gets how my business mind and my creative mind works and I feel like that's rare yeah um, and I'm, I'm truly grateful to like, to just start this new venture with him. So I'm excited to just, you know, see this thing grow legs and see the other small businesses that we support, see them grow legs and just keep it moving. Yeah. And what's cool about this too, is that it's basically finding a demand Mm -hmm. that doesn't have a supply, being the supply for it. So creating Mm -hmm. your own industry, which is also, I think in so many ways, why when you ask someone to do like one of these intro things, like all of the coolest people generally seem to have, you know, they don't necessarily have it the first time because what they're doing is something that didn't exist as a job when we were growing up or it didn't even exist as a job maybe like 18 months ago. ago. Yeah, right. (laughs) Exactly. So it's like, Oh, well, how do I describe what I do? I can't do that because I invented it out of need. Like I True. so I'm a mother of invention, but like what do you want me to call that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um and that's always really exciting. It is. It's totally exciting and it's also with the positive that can come out of this pandemic is and I've actually said this to a lot of customers um who've come through steadfast supply. So if some of them are listening to this, you've definitely heard this before. Um, but the pandemic has definitely opened the door wide open for concepts. There's no such thing as an out there concept anymore. Yeah. You know, like 
because of all the pivoting everyone has had to do professionally and personally, like out there concepts no longer exist. It's like the weirder, the better. Yeah, you know? completely. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. <laughs> so you're kind of like um, creative and business infrastructure support for small businesses. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. I just made I would say. that up, but. I love that. <laughs> okay. So thank you. Yeah. So in terms of, um, cause I'm thinking about kind of everyone I know has started a new business. And actually one of the things that I've been doing that has brought me a lot of joy in this time is, well, actually two things that I've been kind of doing as side hustles that I just, again, like love. But one of them is, this is goofy, but um, one of them is selling, like doing contactless delivery of plants. Oh, cool. (laughs) Because um, I've just always been a plant lover. And you have, and you are. I, I, yeah, I just started becoming a plant parent. Oh my gosh. So um, tell me what sort of sorry I'm like talk plants to me (laughs) tell me about your plant children I became one right when I left Steadfast Supply because Steadfast started carrying um plants from Jungle and Loom yeah and um I got my first green rubber tree plant nice yes his name is Herb awesome um there is no pun intended in there I promise (laughs) (laughs) and he's dark green like forest green so in my mind herb likes to drive a gentleman's race car (laughs) interesting yeah classy yeah so that's that's my my first plant baby (laughs) oh amazing so yeah I've always been and I think some of this comes from oh yeah so you were saying that you and your partner are both like actually from the area Mm -hmm. which there Mm -hmm. aren't that many of us and I think all of us are that Mm -hmm. Um, so I similarly was like born and raised really close to the 7-Eleven in Adams Morgan, the Mm -hmm. the original 7-Eleven, not the Mm -hmm. new one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is funny. Like, you know, when someone's from the area, you're like, you know, 7-Eleven and they're like, yep. Yeah. (laughs) 